What's up everyone, my name is Valius, uh, and today I'm going to show you how I mix my vocals because a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram, on YouTube, on SoundCloud, wherever. So, uh, first I'm going to show you how the vocals sound, and then I'm going to show you how to mix them. So let's do that. I said I, I get lost in your eyes It's been days since you reply Guess you're texting other guys It's not the first time I've been denied I get caught up in your lies Should it follow my friend's advice? It's not gonna happen a second time If I ignore you, yeah, I'll be fine Yeah, I'll be So yeah, that's basically how the end product is gonna sound uh, first, I have a few tips because a lot of people uh, have like a few things that's wrong when they're singing in the mic. Don't put the gain all the way up because when I do this, I click on normalize. Okay, look, the vocals are really low, like the volume is really low. And then I just double click it and click normalize. So put the gain down or your mic because otherwise it's going to sound distorted and we don't like want that sound. Uh, and also sing with confidence. That's like a big tip. Don't sing like, I don't know, you're not comfortable. Just sing comfortably and then we'll sound 100% better. So, uh, first of all, we're going to do like the main vocals. So we're going to get this one. These are the main vocals. I said I, I get lost in your eyes. Yeah, it's been days in yeah okay, I already showed you. So, we're gonna take everything off except of the auto tune because I don't want to expose myself because I'm not the best singer. So, we're gonna start off with the auto tune settings. So, I put my input type at alto tuner. I think that's for like male voice, male voices, and like soprano. So, soprano? Soprano is for like girl voice, or I don't know. Then, search on, uh, there's a link in the description. It's called Audio Keychain. That's a website. You can. Figure out what the key of the beat is. Really important. Use the right key for your vocals. Uh, so for this particular beat, it's the C major scale. Then the retune speed is at 9. And that's just like how much auto tune you're going to put on your voice. And then you got humanize. Add realism and sustain notes. Add high re... I don't know what that is. I just put it at 11. Don't know, I don't really know what it does. So this is how it sounds with only autotune and no mixing whatsoever. I said I, I get lost in your eyes. Look, I don't have the best mic. Mixing is like the best thing ever. So next thing we're going to add is the EQ. So for this EQ, I remove the lows until around, what does it say, 200? Yeah, around 200 then as you can hear if i move this up so it's the two if i move that up it's, it sounds like they're like you're in a box or something i don't know um but yeah i just remove that and i put it down like i don't know how much then also at the three i said i i don't like that sound it sounds weird i said i i get lost and it just hurts your, hurts your ear. So we're also going to put that down. Then from the four. Yeah, you're basically just going to do that. I said, uh, for like frequencies you don't like. So. I, said, I, uh, I didn't like that frequency. So I brought it down. And at the end, I grabbed the seven. At around 1200. Uh, oh no, 12,119 hertz. And I just put it up. Until like this thingy just boost some of the high frequencies now it sounds like this i said i i get lost in your eye i said i i said i i get look it's not a big difference but it just removes some of the sounds that are ugly and not beautiful basically so next we got another eq also remove the lows a little bit because you don't want your vocals to clash with the with the beat that uses a lot of lows then same thing here, I put the 3 down at around 243 and the 5 at 
200, oh, 471, bro, I cannot read. And then if you want like this to be smaller, you hover over it and then you scroll down or up to make it smaller or bigger. And then you could just adjust it. And then I drag the four that's normally around here. I just dragged it here and put it up till six at 13,735 hertz. And then the percentage is like the scrolling thing. So it sounds like this with both of the EQs, like the only EQs on my voice. I said I, I get lost in your eye. Look, now it sounds like really thin, but we're gonna add some things to just make it more full. Next thing is the compressor. Yeah, I'm not gonna just read every, I am gonna read. Okay, so minus 25 dB. I am not sure what this all does, but I just use this. Uh, ratio eight to one. Then we got the gain 8.5. You can fluctuate between like five and 10, depending on how loud your vocals uh, are. Then attack 16.8, release 136. And then the type soft. Not sure why I did it. I just did it like that. Now it sounds like this. I said I, I get lost in your eye. It's basically like it keeps your vocals in one length or like in one volume. So it doesn't go from really low to really loud or something. It just keeps them stable. Uh, yeah, that sounds like this. I said I, I get lost in your eyes. Yeah. Okay, then the sound goodizer. Easy. You put it on C and you put it like one quarter, quarter, I don't know, quarter, quarter, and a little bit more. Basically it, and it makes your vocal sound more crisp. And that's what we want. We want that crispiness. I said I, I get lost in your eye. Bro, it sounds more crispy already. So the next thing we add is, because I have like a, a microphone that's mono, because I use an interface. So that's like in the middle. And we want to make it wider because it sounds really squished in the middle. So we use a fruity chorus. I'm not going to read all of this. I think I use a fat clean preset. But yeah, just click that one. Then drag it also one quarter. Basically everything you need to do. Now it sounds like this. I said I, I get lost in your eyes. Yeah. Ta-da. Next, reverb. This one is pretty... Like one of the main things that makes your vocal sound good. So I'm just going to hover over. If you look on the top left, you can see what the amount is. So high cut for that. Uh, low cut 75 hertz. Um, size 100. Diff 100. Speed 33%. Base one. Whoa. Base multiplier 100. Oh, 100. Uh, decay 4.5 seconds. Cross 500 hertz, damp four. Then the dry, put it to seven, not all the way down, because that's gonna sound weird. Then the early reflection level, never heard of it. Don't even know what it does. I put it at 100, and then the wet level, put it at 60. And then it's gonna sound like this. But that we don't want to be in a church right now. So we drag this down to around here. We don't have the church. I said I, I get lost in your eyes. Yeah. You know, easy. Then for the delay, everyone knows what delay is. So we use this is like normal thingy. Then we got the volume 56%. Click on this ping pong. Volume, 27%. Cuts, 86%. Time, 8. Oh, also get, of course, get the BPM right, because otherwise the timing is not going to work. So always get the BPM of the beat right. It should also say that an audio keychain. Easy. Then we got the time stereo offset, 31.4. I have no idea what that is. And then we got the dry level, 80. I think that's like standard. And then you get like a delay, so like, I said, like, I said, I, I get lost in your eye. Just adds more like variety, and it doesn't make it like that boring. So that's those are the main vocals. So now it sounds like this. 
I said I, I get lost in your eyes, yeah. They seem to be and before it sounded like this with only auto tune on. I said I, I get lost in your eyes. Yeah. It's been days since you reply. Yes, you're texting on. So that's a, a lot of improvement, yes. So the next thing I did was of course the the beginning part. That's this part. What I did for this one is I just clicked here, file, then click save mixture track, hold it, and then drag it over a mixture track, and then drop it. So you get like the same thingy on this one. So then I went to parametric EQ, clicked it, and I did right click. Uh, I think I did old telephone. So you just click old telephone. Then it's going to sound like this. And then just raise the reverb a little bit and the delay. Voila. What I do for the ad libs, those are these ones. I just copied four over to five, lowered the volume, boost a little bit of reverb and removed this EQ completely as you can see. And then you got the ad libs. And that's pretty much how you mix like vocals. It's not that difficult. It only takes like for me 10 minutes to make this tutorial, but yeah, it's not that difficult. If you wanna, if you like the song I just played, it's on Spotify. I'll put a link in bio. It's Valleys with an X instead of an A. Uh, yeah, also follow me on Instagram, of course. And uh, yeah. If you have any questions, just DM me. I'll respond to your questions. If you have any questions about like mixing or anything. Um, yeah, I'm also going to put a link to a vocal preset. So you don't have to put, put everything in. I'm probably going to make it like $5. Because I need money. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on SoundCloud, follow me on YouTube, subscribe, like, comment, share, blah, 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 blah. I'm not that kind of YouTuber, but oh well. And I hope this helped you and uh, have a great day. Peace.